Hello friends and family of YouTube. Well, I've got something different I'm gonna do for you today. I'm gonna do a lightning round. I'm gonna show you four different RVs on one video. These are four different pop-ups and uh, I've got them right here behind me. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you the four. Like I say, it'll be a little quicker than normal. It is gonna be a lightning round, so I won't be able to show you every little detail of each one. But I will show you the model number, and that way if you want to go look it up on the website, you'll be able to get more information. So anyway, let's get to it. Here we go. All right, well, I do need to point out to you that I do not work for the company that makes them or the company that sells them. I'm just out here shooting some video today and sharing my findings with you. I'm no expert in the area of uh, pop-up, so uh, hopefully I can help you out as much as possible. But anyway, on this uh, one that I'm showing you now, it's got your city and water connections out here. It's also got an outdoor shower. You've got a hook up there also for your TV if you want to hook it up to cable or uh, put your satellite dish outside. Right here is your 30 amp uh, electricity hookup. And I'm assuming right here, I'm assuming this is a storage. I did not want to open it up because I have noticed with these pop-ups, you uh, you open something up and it's going to fold out into something. Who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, <laughs> uh, you've got enough area to put your two batteries here and also two propane tanks on the front. It does have a uh, hand crank style uh, jack on the front. And it does have four corner jacks as well. I've noticed that it's right there, mounted underneath, of course. And uh, it's got a two-step entry. Let me show you, uh, oh, also it does have uh, outdoor uh, electricity here. You got two uh, 110 uh, outlets on here. And I believe this antenna here is for your uh, TV and radio system. And uh, anyway, let's, uh, let me show you this model number while I'm out here. This is a Forest River. It's a Flagstaff, and there's your model numbers if you want to look that up. And as I said, we do have a two-step entry, so let's go on inside here and look this unit over. You can see just as we get inside here, it does have a little dinette here. And uh, the dinette is broke down to make into a bed. And uh, of course, you, you know what I'm talking about here. This dinette will make into a bed, and it'll sleep probably two people. Got you a little bit of storage underneath there as well. And right over here beside the door, that's where you've got some of your control panels for your, uh, you've got for your radio system. That That is Bluetooth capable. And uh, also you've got for your, um, your uh, HVAC. And you've also got your uh, microwave. That is right there. It's a little bit hard to tell because it is a little dark in here. But uh, anyway, there's your HVAC system. And you've got, uh, got you a sink here. You got you some uh, storage down below the sink. And there's your little micro, uh, refrigerator, micro fridge, I guess you'd call it. And it's got a three burner cooktop. That's, uh, I would have expected to find a lot smaller cooktop in here, but yeah, it's got a uh, three burner cooktop. How about that? So uh, anyway, there's the price on it right now. Uh, I don't believe I mentioned earlier I'm at Reed Camper in Huntsville, Alabama, and there's your bed So uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one and check it out All right, this next model I'm gonna show you it's also got an outdoor shower. It's got your uh, Fresh water and city water hookup over here and also got your uh, cable hookup for your TV And this one also has a 30 amp uh, electrical service hookup to it got a little storage right here and again I believe this is storage area in here as well but not a hundred percent sure got enough room for two batteries up here on the front two propane bottles and it is a hand crank tongue jack as well and this one also has four corner jacks and a two-step entry a lot of things are similar on the outside of this one as it was the last unit let me go ahead and show you this model way you can look it up if you want to see how much it weighs how much water it will hold etc and right there is the door that I just came into so of course right now we are facing towards the front and what I like about this unit already is uh, not only do you have the dinette at the front where you can see out those windows while you're sitting there enjoying a good meal but you've got a vent fan right overhead here to help pull out the uh, the hot air and with this being an a frame shape 
uh, roof system, heat will rise, hot air will rise, and it should be able to pull that out pretty well. So it should stay pretty cool in here once you get that fan going. And there's a little bit of storage area underneath the uh, dinette as well. And let me move around here to beside the door and show you that it's got a, got a microwave right there. Got a couple of drawers down below where you can pull those out and store whatever you need to. And again, this one has the uh, Bluetooth capable system for your TV and your radio system. And uh, got you a little bit of countertop. That's a catch-all right there. You walk in that door, your keys are going to go there, your ball cap, anything else. You know as well as I do, that's going to be a catch-all, but I like it. So uh, you've also got uh, twin beds, which is great for uh, if you wanted to use this thing to go camping. You don't want to sleep with your camping buddy. You really don't want him that close to you. But anyway, that way uh, y'all don't have to share a bed. Look how big this window is. Isn't that neat? So if you was parked somewhere with a view, that window... That is huge. I really like that. So uh, anyway, let me show you what we got going on here. This is the sink. So it's uh, just folds up. And that way it can fold down when you're getting ready to close this thing up. And I believe that's going to be a two burner. Yep, two burner cooktop. And it's got a small little refrigerator there. And uh, got you a little bit more storage as well here underneath the, uh, the sink. All right, so... Let's go check out the next unit. Oh, I forgot to show you. Maybe you've seen it when I was talking about the uh, catch-all here, but anyway, there's your price of it. All right, well, the last two units we looked at was gray in color, and the next two units we're gonna look at is a little bit of tan color. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of variety here on the outside, and uh, this one has a shower hookup out here, and it's also got a uh, 30 amp, uh, electrical setup it's got a little bit of storage out here as well got enough room for two uh, batteries got two propane tanks got a uh, got the wind up uh, front jack here on the tongue and it's got a little bit of storage here as well it does have four corner jacks to help stabilize it got you a two-step entry get over here and show you the model number of this one this is also a forest river flagstaff model all right, so let's go on inside and check it out. So this has got a front kitchen. We hadn't seen that yet, I don't believe. So uh, anyway, you got you a good size refrigerator there. Let's see if I can open that up and show you how much storage you would have in this fridge. You can put quite a bit of stuff in there. Depends on how many of you, but if there's one of you, you could probably put a week's worth of uh, food inside of there. And you've also got a uh, cooktop here. Let's see, that's a three burner, three burner cooktop. And right here is going to be your sink. And you've got you a little bit of storage down below. You got some cabinets and some drawers to help you uh, be able to store whatever you need to. This looks like a pretty good uh, size storage here. Yeah, look at that. Quite a bit of storage. All right. But I do like how much countertop is here. I mean, you got enough room in here. You could uh, you could clean a clean a deer or whatever you want to. Here. <laughs> I don't think you want to clean a deer inside, but anyway, there is plenty of room. All right. Well, I uh, want to show you that it does have a Kenwood uh, stereo system here, and uh, down below that's your uh, HVAC system. And you've also got a microwave over there as well. Got a little bit of storage down below it. And you've got a, uh, a bed here that looks like it's a little bit bigger than a twin, probably close to a full size. Got you some windows over there as well to look out the front. Well, that would be the back side, I'm sorry. But you do have quite a bit of windows here to give you uh, some good natural lighting. And right over the dinette, again, this, this RV unit here comes with a good size window unit. And it also has the fan built into the roof here as well. All right, well, let me back up just a little bit where I can show you this dinette. And if you did have a hunting buddy go with you along or whatever, maybe camping buddy, you can break this uh, bed down, I'm sorry, this dinette and make it into a bed and that way uh, y'all don't have to sleep together if you don't want to. And there's your price on this one, 14,900. All right, and it's showing the weight up here right at 2,500 pounds. 
which that's not something that I've talked about yet, but uh, man, I tell you what, 2,500 pounds, you could pull this from just about any kind of vehicle on the market. And as I said, you can pull these with just about any vehicle. Uh, what I have just noticed is the ball size on this hitch this is right this is a two inch whereas uh the bigger rvs have a two and three eighths on them so uh yeah you could pull this with just about anything especially once you uh pop it down and uh, you've got it in the broke down position it's gonna be uh, a lot better for your wind uh, as far as cutting back on your wind resistance so this rv comes with 30 amp on it also it's got your outdoor shower and and uh, got a city water connect and a uh, fresh water connection on here as well. And there's enough room to put your two batteries out here and two propane bottles with a hand crank. And let's go on around here, show this side. All right, you got a two step entry on here. And let me show you the model number of this one. Well, I couldn't find a uh, sticker with a name on it, so we'll just call this the Flagstaff HW. I haven't looked at the back of any of these yet, but I thought it'd be good to go ahead and show you the back of this one. That's where it's got the uh, spare tire mount on it. And it's got HW back here, so that's probably what they call this particular unit. So anyway, let's go inside this two-step entry and see what they've got going on inside of here. All right, we just came in this door here and we are facing towards the front and I am gonna tell you I did not purposely save the best for last but I am telling you that this is my favorite one of the bunch. So you've got you a little bit of storage right here beside the door and you've also got you a uh, got you a sink here That's same as the other ones that we've seen so far these are all by Forest River so a lot of things are going to be similar inside of them. And I showed you a refrigerator similar to that one just a moment ago. Got you a got you a window right here in the front where you can see what's going on out the front side. But here's where I think it gets good. If y'all recall the other three, we did not see a bathroom, but we do have a wet bath in here. So you've uh, you've got the ability to go to the toilet here, take your shower, whatever you need to do. Whether you're camping or whether you're out uh, hunting, fishing, whatever. You gonna stink, you need a bath. <laughs> the other ones did have, did have the outdoor shower, so I'm sure that's what uh, why they didn't have a shower inside. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you the rest of this. We've got a uh, dinette here. And of course, like the other dinettes that we talked about just a moment ago, this dinette here will make into a bed. You can break that down and sleep uh, two small people or one, uh, one big guy. And right here, you've got your bed. And uh, looks like that's about a uh, full, maybe a queen size. And got the HVAC heat system down below. And got you a good size microwave here. That's a little bigger than what we've been seeing. But I want to show you the windows here. How about that? Good size windows. And again, we're looking towards the back side of the RV. And uh, look at that. Cathedral style windows. And it does have the vent fan up here as well. So uh, yeah, this one, this one is my favorite. I will say, I like this. Well, folks, y'all have to let me know down in the comments what you thought about these pop-ups. Like I said, that's the first time I've done any of these on here. And uh, doing the lightning round, you have to let me know if you like that as well. So uh, I know some people want more details on RVs and some just want to get right down to business. So y'all let me know what you thought. Folks, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. Hit the like and subscribe, all that fun stuff if you hadn't done it already. I sure appreciate it. See y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.